But right now, would you welcome Los Angeles Lakers superstar, yeah. Karim Abdul-Jabbar. <laughs> seen so many smiling faces in this theater since the night they thought I was canceled. Uh, <laughs> that's really nice feeling, Karim. Maybe it's because I'm bigger than they are. Huh? Because you don't get any hate in your game at all. I, I mean, you, I didn't. No, you don't get that kind of stuff from the, well, not, the well, fans. People, uh, they identify with their own team very intensely, and during the heat of the game, a lot of them get, they can get nasty. Carried away, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I, it never ever lasts. How different a man are you on that court than you are in person? It's, uh... <laughs> you aggressive son of a gun? <laughs> there's, a, there's a big difference. Um, playing the game, it, it involves so much, it takes a lot from your psyche in addition to your body. And uh, it puts you under a lot of pressure. Uh, they don't pay you to play, they pay you to win. Right. Okay, if you, if you were just gonna get paid to play, you could do that at the Y, but uh, <laughs> they pay you to win. And that, that additional pressure can uh, bring things out of you that um, aren't really salient uh, features of your personality, but uh, people who see you play all the time, I think you're just that way, and then you end up being another person. It surprises people. Are, are, do, you, do you take the game home with you, I mean, at night? Sometimes you can't help it. Um, you got you got to try and let it go from yourself. But uh, sometimes you just can't help it. You you make mistakes. Uh, sometimes you feel you get cheated. Sometimes you definitely get cheated. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's nothing you can do about that. Uh, you have to play, and the winning and losing is um, good fortune or bad fortune or talent or any combination of those things. I mean, you are the consummate player. There is nothing you can't do. And I love it how the opposing team just is assigned to surround you. <laughs> I don't and, like that. Huh? <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't really enjoyed that too much. But there's nothing you can't do. I mean, uh, I've been very fortunate. How tough are you on you? I, I, I would say I'm very critical on myself. I'm, I'm the toughest on myself. Uh, I, I want to get the most out of myself. I try to do that, uh, especially in my profession. And uh, after you've been touted as being able to do it well, you want to do better. And uh, there's, there's a whole little war that goes on there. Do you feel a responsibility, Kareem? There is a responsibility in being a public person. Um, you can do irresponsible things that wouldn't really matter to yourself. But uh, maybe a young person might, I, who identifies you might pick up on it and uh, want to act that way. And, uh, do themselves some serious harm. Uh, that's always a possibility. That's something you have to think about. Well, it's something I feel I have to think about. I can only speak for myself. But uh, I, I would imagine if uh, people want to uh, have fun and uh, do it in a, res in a restrained, private way, I, I couldn't really put them down for it. But I, I do think that uh, they should have some consideration for uh, those that are, that are looking up at them. Mm -hmm. You are a very private man. I think so, yeah. yeah. Even most fans don't know a lot about you in uh, off that court. Well, all You're a married man. Yeah. Two children? Yes. See, I know a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> I poked around a little. How old are the children? Uh, okay. My daughter's five years, and my son is one year. Anything special that you're going to teach them? I just want to try and teach them some personal integrity and let them grow as in, in their own way. It's, that's all you can do. That's all any parent can do. How, uh, how influential in your life is your religion? Very You're influential. I, Muslim. Yes, um, an Orthodox Muslim. There I are, don't know what that is. Well, there are, there are um, there's a lot of confusion is in this country as to what Islam is and what it isn't. And I am involved in the tradition of Islam that started in Arabia with the Prophet Muhammad. 
Mm. Is there any way to capsulize your, well, fa your philosophy or where you would differ in philosophy from? Well, actually, there is no difference in Islam from any of the uh, other monotheistic faiths. Uh, we look upon Jesus as uh, a prophet and a man to be held <clears throat> in esteem and an example to mankind. But not okay. a son of God? No. Except in the sense we all are sons of God. Right. We all come from the Creator, but uh, the Creator has never been involved in the physical act of producing us. The Creator just says for us to be and we are. Um, How do you live your life day to day by according to the... Well, it, there, there are a lot of things Muslim. involved, um, even like the way you bathe, uh, the things you say before you eat, uh, things that go on in your mind, uh, the, the way you approach business. It, it's a total lifestyle. It's not just uh, something that you intellectually say that you believe in and then you are what you think you are. You have to, uh, you have to live it. Are you a better person because of your religion? I would have to say so. I, I was um, a very bitter as a young man. Uh, angry? Racism, angry at racism, uh, trying to grow up. That, that's a big problem for a lot of people. And uh, I found through my faith that it gave me a guideline to uh, measure everything by. And uh, with the slow process of throwing out all the superficial and unneeded things, um, I got down to an inner me that I could live with and uh, that I had a lot of respect for and that I enjoyed the direction that I saw that I was taking and uh, I would never take a, a backward step. It's, it's been wonderful. Just sitting and talk, talking to you, you're a very uh, peaceful man to talk to. I hope so. <laughs> I have to deal with enough turmoil in, in my job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What is your big luxury, Karim, that you've afforded yourself with all the fame? I Personal. Like to, I like to take a long, quiet walk every now and then. Do you? Yeah. I, I'm still waiting to go up to see the Redwoods up north. Mm. I've identified with them ever since I was a kid because I was always bigger than everybody That's else. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a genuine sequoia. Although we couldn't drive a car through you, I but hope uh, not. they are something to see. I was up there this summer again, and uh, yeah. that's magnificent. But no material luxuries. I mean, if you had a look at all of at your possessions, and I'm not me. I don't mean family. Uh, do you like fast cars? No, I enjoy. I collect Oriental rugs. I know, and you and you sell them to. Well, no, I don't sell too many of them. I thought you had a wholesaler. I have license. a license, but that's to get out of paying taxes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>